Hey everybody, Chad here. It is a uh, Friday afternoon. Took a little bit of an early day. Uh, thankfully, Eric was nice enough to let me bail. Uh, our queen is MIA in the hive. So uh, I had to go get a new one. The, the bee lady kind of just called and said, Hey, I got, I got a queen for you. You need to come get it now. Which was kind of interesting, but uh, when somebody says they got a bee, you got to go. Um, and Eric was was cool enough to let me scram. Uh, so, as such, I was here. I had a little time. I've been uh, tending the vines and the plants. I'm really happy where we've hit the stride. All the plants are growing. You know, I moved that stick out there earlier this morning. As soon as it stops misting, we will uh, go over there and see. And as far as the misting, I upped it to a minute and a half. That got the ground a little too wet, so then I dialed it back to about uh, 50 seconds, and that seems to be pretty good. So I moved this stick here this morning. That's probably uh, six or seven inches of growth. But the reason I'm making the video is because I've made my selection. Uh, if you watched the last one, I pulled out the 2000 Pingree. We got the other 1718. These are the two 1937 Uranus, and I think the I think the choice is obvious, uh, and they're getting big. They're starting to grow, so I want all the nutrients to go to one plant, not two. The lengths are roughly the same, but this one, this plant here on the left, is uh, being much more vigorous with uh, the secondary vines. You can see the secondary vines coming off, secondary vine, and then on the inside, more of that. So we'll take a look. You can see the secondary vines popping off. So that's the secondary vine below it. Secondary vine. It's got a little bit of a funky monkey vine right there. And a slow secondary. Sometimes they, you know, these plants are kind of really genetic monsters. So sometimes they have a little trouble get going, but they, they figure it out eventually. And you can see this plant this secondary vine and I'm gonna break the leaf so you can see versus that secondary vine so big small you know not so good not so good small not so good and this one's much better so this this is why I wait a little longer than probably most people do to uh, to make my selection but I have made my selection and Come out. Lots of roots. <laughs> so you can see the clump, the whole plug from when I, when Pete and I kind of plugged it in. Which that's pretty interesting. I want all this soil to stay. Some people just cut them off. I don't think that's a bad idea, but I didn't have a cutting utensil. And I don't think it's that big of a deal. So there we go. Inspect the plant, see if there's anything we can learn from it. Nothing's really rooted in on the bottom. You can see these other, these miniature secondary vines. Not the best in the world. So there we go. The other 1937. Oh, little pumpkin. Cute little pumpkin there. That's interesting. The location of that guy. First, first leaf on a secondary. Hmm. Nice, very healthy roots. So, that's that. Chosen my, my pony for this side. Spot one, spot two. Spot three, spot number four. That's the only one. I'm just waiting for waiting for somebody to speak to me over here. Who's it gonna be? But that's it. Quick update. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend.